place that's helped hundreds of dogs find their human companions. Many of those animals needing wheelchairs and extra special care before they can find their forever home. Good day's Caitlin Pratt has more on the rescue ranch. Acre after acre in Rutledge, Georgia. A playground, a safe haven for dogs with tuxedo like markings. We're talking about Boston Terriers. Their smushy faced friends are also welcome at the rescue ranch. It's nonstop, 24 hours a day. Um, we live here. Um, we built the shelter on our property, so we never stop. Renee and Courtney of Rescue Ranch Pups Inc., a 501c3 nonprofit organization, started what they call their passion with one rescue dog. And then they say became involved in a hoarding case. 36 Bostons and pugs with nowhere to go. And they put them in animal control, which is the only place that they had an option for. And so many of them got sick that we lost more than half. And we decided we wanted to do something bigger. That's when they built a facility with kennels to serve as an emergency shelter for animals in similar situations. Rescue ranch, volunteers and staff certainly have encountered a lot of pep and personality through the years. At least 100 dogs transition through the ranch each year. Many of those dogs special needs like Harley, a senior sweetheart, blind in both eyes, but still spry. He wears a special halo to keep them safer. And it doesn't matter to us if they have eyes, if they're deaf, how old they are. It, it is a challenge as far as you constantly worry about how much time you have with them. The Rescue Ranch's mission, its creators say, is to be a positive force in animal rescue. Make the pups well and whole and find them loving homes, and their reach is now expanding. They recently started a rural outreach program supporting more than a dozen other rescue services and shelters. They're working with a couple of different food distributors to get food and then supply those to other rescues. Cause that's one of the biggest costs that they run into is how they're going to feed what they bring in. Even while thinking big, the focus still remains small, one dog at a time, like Pop who after rehab is now eating and drinking out of a bowl, a small victory. Pop is one of our most special um, that we have right now. Pop was born with cerebellar hypoplasia and caudal fossa syndrome, which are birth mean? defects in the brain that make muscle control for him very difficult. Um, so he's unable to stand or walk. When he first got here, he couldn't really ambulate at all. He just kind of laid on his side. I think core components here is we look at quality of life um, and we try to give them the best quality of life that we can um, and that's our kind of guiding rule and principle for the dogs that we work with. And they see the dogs that leave the ranch make a difference, providing companionship and a whole lot of laughter to those who adopt. That's amazing. Um, they get under your skin and into your heart real quick. In Rutledge, Caitlin Pratt for Good Day Atlanta. The sweet dogs there. Well, anyone who wants to help can donate money. It's also tax deductible, or you can volunteer. Days at the Rescue Ranch, you can wash dogs or kennels. Another option, volunteer at your local animal control.